We're living in the age of communication. But there is at least one place in North America where some kinds of communication is threatened. Since 1977, it's been illegal for cities in Quebec to generally communicate with their residents in English, unless the city got an exemption. A city could get exempted if a majority of its residents were not mother tongue French speaking. That permanent exemption was called bilingual status. Later, they changed the criteria so only new cities with a majority of mother tongue English speakers could get the exemption, which was permanent. Cities with it were said to have bilingual status. Now the Parti Quebecois government has tabled a bill that will give it the power to take away that permanent exemption. Of the 1,135 cities and towns in Quebec, only 86, or about 7.5%, have bilingual status. But if the bill becomes law, half those cities might lose it. Even cities like Cote St. Luke, DDO, Kirkland, and TMR. In Cote St. Luke, 65% of people speak English at home, but only 46% are technically mother tongue English. You're only mother tongue English if one of your parents spoke to you in English as a baby. If your mom spoke to you in, say, Italian, oh, che bello bambino. then the PQ says you're not English speaking. It doesn't matter if you speak English at home today. That's how the PQ wants to reduce bilingual services. By undercounting who is English speaking, and then giving itself the power to take away bilingual status. All this effort to stop bilingual services in just 7.5% of Quebec municipalities. If you believe this is wrong, email your member of the National Assembly of Quebec today. The Quebec Liberal Party and the CAQ have a majority of the seats and can defeat this unjust bill. Visit BilingualStatus.com to learn more.